Yo, what's going on guys? Today I have a different video. This is more of an informative video and one I should have made at least a year ago. Now, this one is to pertain with your cruise ship. This is something that most people really don't take a lot of thought into unless you take Guild Wars rather seriously, you know? Maybe your tier A, you know, like up there. Most people really just don't think about this too much and it's actually something that pertains to your everyday gameplay and can make farming a lot easier, especially when it comes to Magnet 2 and whatever you may be farming. Do note though, that for the best value out of this, it's actually best to be in the solo crew because you don't really have to worry about your other teammates. You can pretty much just focus primarily on yourself. But you know, some people don't have that luxury. They don't have alt accounts because you do need quite a few to make sure you hit the 20 member limit. So just throwing it out there now. With the cruise ship, I wanted to talk about the elemental damage boost. If you didn't know, the cruise ship can also give a huge damage boost to all elements. Light and dark do get kind of gutted because they don't have an elemental ship at the moment. And I don't think there ever will be a light and dark one. But every element generally does get a massive boost. You can see here that currently I'm on the water ship right now so i would be getting a nine percent damage boost to water i'm going to show you the value of each airship so you can get an idea on how much it really impacts your overall damage so right now i have no crew buffs on anything that oh wait what the hell i have no crew buffs on right now nothing on this is shop skills so we're going to go into a quick trial battle and we're going to look at our damage and see how it goes do note that your element, your um, estimated damage does so your cruise ship damage as well. So with the cruise ship, you will be seeing your estimated damage go up. Like right now, currently we're at 219 on our estimated damage for fire. So we're gonna run to a quest really quick and look at our auto damage and then we'll go and throw a cruise ship buff on and see how it goes. So let's take a good look here. So right now, my main character about 450k. I'm gonna auto like five turns, to give a good idea. 430, 450. There is variance in this game, so we do a couple autos so we can get an idea. We did hit 460 there. 460. We'll do one more turn. 470. So we we have a variance about 40k. So between 430k and 470, which isn't bad. So we're gonna retreat, and we're going to change our cruise ship. The reason I ended up making this video because I, was, I keep changing my cruise ship every time I farm, and people do ask why I be in a solo crew or what's the benefits of being in a solo crew. So I thought, why not make a video on this? Finally get it out the way. So we're gonna be swapping over to a 9% boosting fire ship right now. So you can see that the fire ship's on. It's 9%. Do note that each cruise ship caps at 10, but you do gotta level up your cruise ship overall to get that bonus. So leveling up your cruise ship is very important. Um, we're gonna run into the trial battle. And we're gonna run to another quest. Pick the same summon. We don't wanna change anything. Now we're gonna look at our estimated damage here. And you can see that the estimated, dam the estimated damage has jumped up 20K. We were previously at 219, now we're at 239. So we had a uh, 20K increase. And we're gonna go and look at our damage. Things like this really help when it comes to one turning especially if you're trying to get a certain amount of honors for the blue chest and magnet 2 and if you feel like you're lacking that little bit of damage this can be a quick way for you to increase your damage so we did hit 490 before we was hitting 430 to 470 right now we're at 490 to 500k we'll do two more turns see if we get a little bit more variance 480 500 
Can I get a multi attack, please, main character? Okay, so we're about 500k in around that ballpark. So we jumped up about 30k, I believe. 40k. That's the last. Uh, so we hit 510. So we were what? 430 to 470. And now we're at 480 to 510. So about 40k increase. And now we have one more buff to throw on. Do note that the double buffs only count to the main elements, being water, wind, earth, and uh, fire. This does not count to light and dark. Sadly, light and dark gets shafted. But keep in mind, you don't get that uh, element two re deficiency, you know, when it comes to you have a weak element. You don't have that, so it's fair, right? <laughs> it's all fair. So we did change our airship. Now we're gonna add in the crew skill that boosts his fire attack. So there's three levels, one, two, and three. Three being 10% boost. So now we'll go home. Trial battles. And we're gonna go the wind. So we're gonna look at our estimated damage right now. Our estimated damage has jumped up to 262K. So at first, with no boost, we went from 219. We added 9% elemental damage boost. That jumped us up to 239. Now we have the 10% damage boost from the crew skill, and that puts us to 262. So we, in theory, almost jumped up 50k elemental damage, and we didn't even change our pool. No, nothing to do with anything. Just purely based off the cruise ship alone. We're gonna select the party here, and let's see how hard we hit now. So remember, we started at 430 to 470k. That's what we started with. Right now, we'll be hitting 530. Uh, let's try to 530, 540, 550. So almost a 100k increase without even doing anything different to our team or to our pool. All we did was change our cruise ship. So this is a really good way for people who really want to increase their overall damage output. But you know, they feel like they can't farm new weapons, right? Because they're not doing enough damage. So this is a way for you to increase your damage, but I'll have to actually increase your pool. Um, hopefully this is informative to people who are wondering why the cruise ship matters so much. Um, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions on this, leave it in the comments. Personally, I do need to note that this is best utilized by having 20 people in your crew Because if you don't have 20 people you are be lacking out on the fourth crew buff So I know some people like to be in like a little small crew But being in a bigger crew does have a benefit So I recommend even if you have to bring in alts that you can like for example in this crew here there's 20 million Ilyas, cause you know, hey bro, doesn't they don't need to play the game. They gotta be in the crew. <laughs> no one asking them to play the game, so. It's very beneficial to you to hit that 20 character mark or 20 person mark, just so you can get the extra buff. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.